Hello nerds, welcome to Sanchineering. You're watching Chemical Process Analysis. Previously, we've talked about the concept of mass balance. Remember, when in doubt, n equals out. In this example, we'll be doing a problem analyzing seawater content, desalination. Seawater containing 3.5 weight percent of salt passes through a series of 10 evaporators. Water is vaporized and condensed to obtain a product stream of fresh water. We are to draw and calculate the mass balance representing the system. I highly, highly encourage you to pause the video here and try it by yourself. Assuming you gave that a go, let me start by giving you one tip. Draw one evaporation unit first. Think about what's coming in. Raw seawater, right? Now, this is something that they don't usually explicitly state, but they sort of expect you to just know, which you can conceptualize intuitively. If we evaporate and condense water, we're going to be left with a purified water stream and a higher concentrated output stream. Think about what's happening. The water is being separated from the salt. I'm using M in to represent the mass coming into the system and M1 to represent the mass of the stream coming out of the first unit. MW represents the pure water coming out of the unit and the definition of mass fraction given by X will be crucial for the mass balance. Now we can write the overall mass balance equation. When in doubt, N equals out. So we add up all the streams entering and leaving the system. Next, we select the basis for a system. Remember, this is arbitrary, so I'll select one kilogram. I remember being confused on how to select it. It doesn't matter as long as we cancel it out in the end. Now we can do the mass balance on the salt in the system. N equals out. Great, we have two equations but three unknowns, so we can't solve the system until they're equal. Now since we still have too many unknowns to solve for this algebraically, what we know our output of our first system is going to be our input of our second system, and the output of the second system will enter the third and so on for each of the systems, until we reach the tenth evaporator. In total, we'll have 10 evaporators so we can write the overall mass balance equation for the system. I'll say it again, when in doubt, n equals out. So all we have to do is add up what's coming in and out of the overall system. We'll do the same thing for the salt balance, and look, we can actually solve for it. One thing that can help is making an analogy. All a desalination plant really is, you're just adding salt and water to a pot, and you're just boiling the pot and evaporating the water. Believe it or not, the worst is actually over. We just developed a set of equations that we can now solve algebraically. We can start by solving for the mass in the first stream, followed by the mass fraction in the first stream. And from there, we have this beautiful set of chain reactions that we can just solve algebraically for each of the systems. In fact, we can actually write a general equation for the system. This is what it would look like for evaporation unit 1 and unit 10. And by writing a system mass balance for evaporation unit n, we can write a general equation for the system. The last thing we have to do is calculate yield, which is defined by the problem as the amount of water recovered divided by the amount of water in the process feed. And that's it! If you solve the system by hand, or using Excel or Python, you'll get this as your answer. Please let me know if you want me to do a video on how to use Excel or Python for solving this type of system. Hey nerds, hope you learned from and enjoyed the video. Check out the links down below to download the notes for this video as a PDF or a PowerPoint. Hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Sanchineering for any questions or requests for videos. Or you can just leave a comment in the description. Definitely check out my website, sanchineering.weebly.com. I got articles, PDFs, cheat sheets, calculators, and it's all completely free. Because I know for a fact that when I was a broke college student, I didn't pay for anything unless absolutely necessary. So that's why everything on Sanchineering is completely free. All I ask is at the very least, you simply subscribe and share my videos with their friends and classmates if you enjoyed it. That way, we can all help each other. Don't forget to share this with your friends, family, and dogs.